Uh, it, was, <coughs> it was a good first day, it was solid. Um, more solid for probably more boys than me. It was um, just easing into it for now, I guess, new club and um, yeah, basically get used to the new drills and the running, so it certainly will get tougher. What does it feel like at the moment? Excitement, nerves or? Uh, exciting, I think. Um, it was a long process for me and it's been a long couple of months and I've been overseas so it's made it difficult to work everything out, but um, now that it's all done, I'm uh, just really excited to be here. Disappointed to leave the Cats? Yeah, I think um, I was there nine years and uh, obviously going through um, four ACLs there, you, you work with a lot of really good people and you build a lot of really good relationships and um, the fans there have always been really good to me. So it's there's a little bit of that, that um, certainly you do, you will miss uh, the place. But at the same time too, um, a fresh start, something that I was really looking forward to and um, to, to land at the Sydney Swans is, um, yeah, I couldn't have expended a better place. It's a pretty tough run that you've had. Four, is it four reconstructions? Yeah, it is. It's, um, it is, um, but it, for me, it feels like it was a long time ago now. It was, it was probably four years ago since my last one. So in terms of my body and my footy, I feel really good. And um, as much as that's always going to be there for me, I do feel like it's really behind me now too. So I um, can just focus on training with the boys and hopefully playing some good footy with them. What about in terms of the role you'll play here? Do you think it'll be similar to what you did at the Cats? Was John Inder made it anything kind of different in terms of the way he'd like to use you? Uh, I think it'll be similar, but there'll certainly be a lot of differences. And um, I, the teams play uh, different tactically as well, and that's something that every team's going to be different. But um, I think um, it's a pretty young group here, which uh, I've spoke to John, John about, and, and a young forward line too. So I'm looking forward to working with Bard, but at the same time, there's so many young guys here that are really talented that it'll be great to be able to work with them and, and learn, but also help develop them as well. What are, you, what are your memories of, or how much footy have you played on the SCG? And the smaller ground, yeah. do you think that suits you? Or? Well, I've only played there a couple of times, but um, uh, GMHBA in Geelong is very similar. Um, they're the two smallest grounds in the AFL, so I feel like dimensions wise I'll probably be used to it, um, which most players probably wouldn't say that, so uh, I think it'll be good. I think um, you obviously can penetrate well at the SCG and get the ball in deep and, and hopefully that will help my game as well. And how does things left with Geelong? I mean, did, would preferably, would you, did you want to stay? Did yeah, I think it was... Uh, it was one that um, I did a lot of weighing up and uh, I was happy to move um, and certainly had different ideas and thoughts and prospects that could have happened as well and so um, it was it was a tough one because I think like I said before you get pretty attached to the place and my story is a little bit different and um, I'm very thankful to the Geelong Footy Club and how they stuck by me and, and not just the footy club but fans and, and so many people that are involved um, behind the scenes but at the same time too the fresh start is probably the number one thing for me and um, it's something that I'm really looking forward to. Because in the past you can certainly kick goals there's no doubt about that I mean there's so much made these days of forward pressure and stuff like that and yeah. that's I guess has been the Pats rap against you whether fairly or unfairly how do you, yeah. how do you kind of react to that? Yeah I mean that everyone's um, got strengths to their game and obviously weaknesses as well and um, that's something that I think for me after my injuries took a little while to, to um, work on but um, yeah it's something that I'm really looking forward to developing here and, and the system that I'm playing in too and um, I think that's a big part of it as well so I'll certainly work with Stevie J and, and Horse as well on that sort of stuff and and basically what they need me to do if it is laying tackles a game if, if it's not if it's if it's winning contested possessions whatever they need um, basically for me to do is, is what I want to do um, it has in a, an extent I think for me, what happens is because I've had so many injuries, people look at the negative and the worst and go, um, what happens if he does another knee? What, what happens if he can't lay tackles? And, and I understand that and I get that too. Um, but yeah, it's, it's also, I'm, I'm a big American sports fan and um, I love over there how media, but also it's, it's not tall poppy syndrome over there, it is here and everyone pumps up the better players. and. We, we're sort of quick to jump on people here, I think, and so it, it's it's expected in a way. Um, but I understand it too, and, and it's something that I obviously got to work on as well. What do you do to deal with it? Do you switch off completely? Um, no, it's funny. Like um, I think you sort of you steer clear of it a little bit. Which, to be honest, it's great that I'm up here because the scrutiny in the down in Melbourne is uh, I've spoken with the boys and it's ten times as much here. So it's um, it would just be so different, but. Um, I think you, you have other things, you have other outlets outside of footy and um, 
I mean, I've been through four knees, so to cop a little bit of criticism while I'm playing, I'm happy to do that because it means I'm playing, so that's the, the best result. You mentioned there's a lot of small forwards here. You've got Bud as a veteran key forward. So how do you see yourself fitting in? Can you play as a, as a key forward or a medium size or small? How, how do you see that? Yeah, I think um, for me, my strength and how I look at who I'm playing on is I'm able to do both. I'm, if I've got a tall player on me, I'll, I'll try and beat him on the ground and try and get up the ground um, and vice versa. If I've got a smaller bloke on me, then I'll try and beat him in the air and, and be really contested. So I think it's been able to do both and um, and then therefore however the club needs, wants to play me and, and what role, then I'm able to adapt to that as well. Has John spoke to you much since you've been since you arrived? Uh, I've spoken with him a few times on the phone, had a good chat today, but um, he was really good uh, before I even signed him, before I even did a medical, chatted with me and basically outlaid their plans and, and how I might fit into that. And um, and so if I did want to come to Sydney, that there was certainly a role there and an opportunity. And um, the other one he did have was Stevie Jay, the forwards coach, who I obviously played with in Geelong and he's, he's quite a character and I, I knew that before coming here. So that um, was also very enticing as well and um, yeah, he's been really clear and, and just really transparent, which is great. Was it going to be Jay the clincher, was it? Ah, uh, look, he, he'll, he'll say he was. Um, but um, no, it's, oh, it's, I mean, like I said, to have Buddy, to have the younger forwards, but then I reckon to have someone like Stevie to be able to put that together, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the forwards catch I've got. Is it going to be a bit strange to be coached by someone who's a former teammate? Uh, yeah, Will. Um, it's, I've, just for example, we're just out there and nothing's changed. There's still jokes and everything else that go on. So um, it's good. It, it makes it a lot harder, I guess. Um, but at the same time, he probably knows my game a little bit better than most. And um, when we played together in Geelong, I remember saying to people, not many people are on Stevie's wavelength, and I feel like we're close. I don't think anyone's on his wavelength, but um, I feel like we are close. So um, I can sort of understand when he says some real weird stuff, maybe I might get that more than someone else. So, um, oh, it is. It's like I said, um, to move City was, was one of the big ones for me, um, but to actually come to this team is a perfect result, I think. How, um, how are you liking Sydney as a city? Yeah, it's good. We. Um, Staying in Coogee at the moment, which um, we're 100 metres from the beach, so it's uh, it's a pretty amazing spot. And uh, went to Bondi on the weekend, so uh, to have that, I mean, Geelong's got some nice beaches, but I think Sydney probably is better than that. So, um, and it's just warmer up here too, which is which is certainly much nicer. So that I'm really looking forward to. You were in the USA, weren't you, at the time that this this all eventuated? Like, just what was your reaction? Can you just tell us the time frame about what coming back and then what you went back to the US as well? Yeah, so uh, it was a pretty hectic and stressful time if I was honest. Um, I'm so glad I was overseas because it meant that for the majority of the day I could uh, enjoy my time away and not think about it. Uh, if I was here I would have, um, it would have been on my mind all the time and so uh, every couple of nights, uh, time zone difference made it hard. My manager would ring me at maybe 12 or 1am when it was 10am here and Feel like I've got another update for you. You might not be here. You might be here. So it just it changed. Um, so there's no real clarity, uh, which made it difficult. But um, then when Sydney said they were keen and, and said about a medical, I said, yeah, absolutely. I'll, I'll happily come back. And uh, I wasn't going to go back, but I had a couple of my best mates from Adelaide came over to America, and I left the day after. So I was sort of like, I can't leave them now um, for the whole trip. I better come back. And I'm glad I did because it was so much fun, and, and I really enjoyed it over there. Did you ever worry that you wouldn't stay in the AFL system at all? Um, I think one thing that um, I've, do, I've done a lot and um, it's, I've spoke with AJ a lot obviously who's, who's been through a lot too and for, to go through so much you've got to have confidence in yourself and back yourself and believe in yourself and um, I always thought that I would get that opportunity and it doesn't wander into your mind but you do think if it doesn't work you, you do have plans in place and I still believe that if it didn't work out I could have made it back so um, it's not one that you give too much time but um, yeah, you just you just hope that things will work out. You mentioned AJ, is it bittersweet that you come in and he's unfortunately not been given another opportunity? It is. We um we caught up uh, before the end of the season and spoke about potentially both being elsewhere and um, so that was always on my mind that that might happen and but I never thought Sydney and so we never actually spoke about playing together. Um, so then when I was doing the medical up here, I messaged him and he said, mate, I've heard like, it would be unreal. And I said, oh, I wish you were still up here. Um, it would have been incredible. But um, he's back in Melbourne and he's going to be at Carlton, I think, doing his rehab there, which would be amazing for him. So um, hopefully he can, he can get back really well. And, and I know that if he does, then he's every chance to get another opportunity. Have you spoken to Bud at all? And uh, what would it be like to be part of the same forward line as him? Yeah, I only met Bud today. Um, but, I mean, when 
people when I found out Sydney was a chance, first thing mates say to you and I even say is, wow, I'm going to play with Buddy Franklin. Um, just has that effect, I guess. And to actually play in the same forward line as well, um, I'm really looking forward to that. I think he's quite a smart player, obviously, but just a gun as well. And so to be able to work off him and learn off him as well, um, but also his skills are so good that he would just put you in good positions and you'll get the rewards too if you run to the right spot. So um, it's something that when I think about that, it does, it makes you smile because it's just a great opportunity.